What's up crew, what's up machine freaks? Today we are going shopping. We're gonna build something today, hopefully. Hopefully we get time to do it. Kyle S and I wanna look at my truck. So uh, we're not completely sure if we're gonna get to it or not. The first attempt didn't go so well, so I'm glad we didn't discuss what we actually wanted to do. Now we're going to uh, Harbor Freight. I was just staring at that thing. We got a whole bunch of goodies, because when don't you get goodies from Harbor Freight? Rubber bands, um, gloves, broken gloves, and a free, uh, what do you call these things? And a free power strip. Some wrench dogs, adjustable wrench dogs, even metric too. And they're metric, metric and, and standard. standard. <laughs> Not just single garbage. Some glasses dogs to protect the eyes. Got some coupons. You gotta protect your eyes. You gotta have 20-20 at all times. Diesel stroke. So, so what do we got here, boys? The Cummins. Cummins 6.6 .6 liter? Yeah, one of the new ones. We're gonna check out my truck. Kyle's got uh, like a programmer, right? Or, or a tuner, something, computer? Yeah, something along those lines and my truck for some reason it hits like 2,000 RPM at certain times and it doesn't want to go over two grand. We're both thinking that it's like a fuel issue. I think we should see on mine, I don't know about yours, but it's way easier if we just pull this plastic shield off. I took mine off the other day without doing that. Oh really? You're nuts. I don't got one of them. Thousand degree knife challenge. Could you this thing any taller or what? Yeah. Nice and clean. <laughs> You know what? What did I just buy? Rubber bands? What? Rubber bands? No! Gloves! I'll even put a pair on. Whoa, whoa, whoa. Mr. Bill Nye, the science guy. It ain't the truck. This truck's gonna have problems. Is that thing still recording? <laughs> So what we believe is happening is, I'm not sure if you guys will be able to see it, but these holes, these eight holes are supposed to match up with the, I believe, 10 or 12 holes in the filter. And here's one of Kyle's old filters right here. So those holes are supposed to match up with those eight holes, but for some reason they're not really lining up. Even though this adapter is specifically supposed to work with this truck and this filter. So what we're going to do is take that adapter off, pull out a nice cobalt drill bit, and just start going to town. You're going online? On the online. You're going on the line? Yeah. So what are they saying on the line? They're seeing issues with the same contraption. They have seen issues? Yeah. Okay, so I say we just bore her out. When in doubt, <laughs> bore it out. We got this fancy engineer vice. Is this the sucker we're gonna use for this application? We're gonna use a drill press if you want. Do you have a drill press? Yeah. Where is it? Oh, we're getting all fancy. Yeah. Wanna drill press it? Yeah. Wanna get nasty on it? Like so I have the adapter in the drill press. Kyle's been polite enough to let us use this sucker. She's a beauty. Thanks, Kyle. We got the bit that I want to use. We'll take this bit, and this is slightly larger than these holes, and uh, this won't in interfere with anything, we hope. We did a little bit of uh, analyzing, and we've discussed that uh, this should work. And then what we're also going to do is we're going to drill three new holes with this drill bit. So we should be able to get plenty of flow after we're done with this. And I have this paper towel down here because uh, there's an O-ring here. And I don't want to take the O-ring off because I, I'm afraid that if we take it off, the O-ring will actually expand and then we won't be able to reuse it. Wish us luck. Getting relaxed and loaded on the first hole? Are you excited? I guess so. I'm excited. You could call it that. I'm really excited. We got her toned down. Torque mode right now. Well, this bit, I guess, is a little too small, so we're gonna bump it up a size. Oh, yeah, we gotta get a shot of this. We're sick of the torque, we want some action, so we're gonna we speed her up. Not right here. I gotta see what we're on. We're in 390 RPMs. Uh, bump her up to 650. So, what we have to do is do 650 here, so we got the belt has to go down there and then on the middle. Uh, is she a Dura stroke or? Not there yet. It's 3100. Oh, okay. It's raw horsepower up there. Is that looking like good speed there, Chief? Yeah, we're bumping up to 900. Bumping up to 900? 990. 990. First hole success! Woohoo! I can already feel the 
ponies, folks. This is actually I want to keep those chips on there because uh, I want to make sure the cat's actually doing its thing. That's so it's good in the motor. Yeah, bores it out, gives it more horsepower. You know, make the cylinders bigger. It's got to put out more power. Just to let you guys know, there's a lot of sarcasm in this video. It's just one of those times, you know, you hang out with your friends and you guys just have a good time and sarcasm always, it happens. I think it's almost pretty well right there. That thing's dialed right in. See, while I'm dialing in the camera, Kyle's dialing in the, the adapter. Good job, buddy. This one's sailing right through. I'm saying we should get safety glasses. Let's bust out the safety glasses, buddy. Let's show the tubers that we, I go we can be responsible. Well, set the next one up. You already drew that one? Yep. You're tuned in. I'm just you're dialed, man. That 990, it's Dura stroking. Convenience sake, I'm at the restaurant working. One pair? Oh, yeah. You're going to take them out of the wrapper and use them? These are yours. I'll even open them for you. How do they feel? Pretty solid, actually. Let me go buy some more of these. Whoa, those are those are those are nice too. Pretty solid. Hey, I think you got. Oh, oh now I can see real good. Perfect. <laughs> Ready here? Live action. Look at that. That one drilled amazing. It's getting better and better every time. It's like warming up, just like the diesels. You know, it's just. We got ah. two. You missed. <laughs> the, tin, stuff. the tinted glasses got you all jacked up. You missed by a mile. Hopefully these holes aren't too big. Should we check it? No, it's kind of late now. What happened to this one? Different kind of aluminum on this side? Yeah. Trinesium, you know, it's never consistent. <laughs> I love this drill press. I'm going to have to get one of these suckers. This thing's nice. How many people have drill presses? Leave it in the comment section below. She might even work. She might. Let's, let's. Test her out. So this is an O-ring off of one of the filters. And as you can see, she'll seal up. Kyle and I just got the drilling done. But we bored out all the holes except for one, and then we put uh, two new holes in it. So now we're priming the system. Oh yeah. And we don't want any air coming out of, we don't want any air in the fuel filter. We're just making sure we got a nice steady flow of fuel. Then we'll put our bleeder screw back in. And then fire the truck back up and then maybe take it out for a little rip there, Kyle? Take it for a rip. We ended up drilling one extra hole, right? Or two two extra, extra holes. Two extra holes. And we bored out seven holes. Because what we wanted to do is not drill out all eight because we wanted to save some material. And then drill another hole there. I hope that makes sense. But basically we just wanted to drill more holes so that uh, it would allow more fuel in. Kyle, you want to show the guys, um, you want to show them what your system looks like? Drain your in here. So... That's broken. <laughs> so on Kyle's, you got an 03, right? Yeah. 2003, his adapter looks like that. There's like... Uh, Probably what? about 16 holes. 16 holes or something around there. There's only got eight. Yeah. Eight. So we're hoping this fixes the issue. I'm looking forward to this. I, I'm not kidding. This is going to be awesome. Wow. Take two. You're good. The same pair of jeans every day. We sell with just homie, two stamps away. Looks like December, but I leave in May. Drugs are generic, but still work the same. I get I'm sorry, you guys, the battery died, so you guys couldn't see the results. It was dark anyway, so you couldn't really see anything. The camera that I was shooting with doesn't do good at night, as you guys saw in the previous video, where it lags out at night. I have two cameras. I use a Canon G7X, and then I use a Sony RX105, I think. This one gets the shot, while that one gets good audio. So they both have their perks. That's, that's the only thing. So some videos are different than others. Different's not bad, though. As long as it's with 3D machines, it's always good. I hope you guys didn't take the horseplay too seriously. We were just joking around, two guys hanging out, working on stuff, and, and that stuff happens. Basically, the reason why we were boring out the holes was to allow more fuel to get into the filter so then more fuel could go into the engine. After doing that, the truck ran better, but not as good as it should. Kyle bought a really good adapter, while well, I didn't buy a very good adapter. So I will have to drill out more holes in the future, that's okay. When I switch out the other fuel filter, which is right here, then I'll go ahead and do that. 
But I hope you guys enjoyed this 3D Machines production. Check the Toilet Snake. I think it's coming down. Maybe we'll get into something with him tomorrow. Well, you're tomorrow, Mike, today. I hope you guys enjoyed this 3D Machines production. Until next time, enjoy your day.